Hello viewers, I welcome you all to your own channel for Vidas the Educator. Those who are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel to get the latest CBSE updates and many other educational interesting videos. So today's topic you can see on the whiteboard I have written algebraic identities, tricks to remember. Yes, it is going to be very interesting because I think you might be struggling like anything. I know maximum of the students I have seen in my class also. They struggle like anything to remember these type of formulas, identities. But these identities are very, very important. If you find out some technique, then you can remember the formulas very easily. These techniques I'm going to give you from my 20 years of experience. Uh, so this is very unique. You can apply. Definitely this is going to work. Okay. And let me tell you, some of you do not like algebra, but... According to me, the beauty of maths lies in algebra. So if you understand, if you learn the identities very nicely, then definitely you are going to enjoy like anything. So let's start. So I have written on board, you can see A plus B whole square. This is the first identity. I think from class 7. You are getting this identity a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2 i say b plus b square let me tell you what do you mean by identity algebraic identity is an equality which is true for any value of its variable variable means here a and b are the variables that means whatever values of a and b we consider left hand side is equal to the right hand side I'll show you with the help of one example. Then after that, I'll tell you how to remember the formula. Suppose A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 4. Suppose. Now, left hand side, we are going to substitute 2 plus 4 whole square. So, 4 plus 2, 6 square is equal to 36. Then, right hand side a square so 2 square plus 2 into 2 into 4 plus 4 square so 2 square you know 2 into 2 4 plus 2 to the 4 4 4 is 16 plus 4 square means again 16 so 16 plus 16 is 32 32 plus 4 is equal to 36 so we have seen that left hand side value is equal to the right hand side value. That is why algebraic identity is an equality which is true for any value of its variable. So in place of A there may be X plus Y. Then whatever values of X and Y you consider then this is true. This is always true. That is why this is said to be identity. Right, now I am going to tell you how to remember, you just see, square means this power is 2. So you just remember like this, a square plus b square or you can change the order also, no problem. a square plus b square plus twice multiply this to ab. Easy, a square plus b square plus 2, this 2, you remember like that, then a into B. Yes, first three. Then next, same formula. Next number two. A minus B whole square. How to write? A square. Then last term is same plus B square. Then this side is minus. So it will be minus. Power is two. Then multiply this to A, B. Isn't it easy? So these are the main first two formulas. A plus B whole square. A minus B whole square. Only sign before twice AB is different. That means it is minus. If it is plus, it will be plus. If it is minus, then it will be minus. Okay? Now next identity. A plus B into A minus B is equal to all of you know A square minus B square. Now let me... Show you the technique. A into A, all of you know. A square plus minus minus. Then B into B is equal to B square. Isn't it very simple? 
So now next formula we have x plus a into x plus b. Now all of you know the formula for this x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. So let me tell you sometimes you think that this formula is from where it has come. Actually it's not like that. We can derive the formula but generally up to uh, class 10 or 11 you can say derivation of the formulas are not required that is why we don't show you in class. But we can prove the theorems that is very much to that we can prove the theorem we can derive the formulas. How to derive you just see this x into x plus b plus a into x plus b. Right? You know how to, this is a polynomial and this is also a polynomial. So how to multiply a polynomial by another polynomial, all of you know. Now x into x is x square plus x into b, we can write as bx plus a into x is ax plus a into b is ab. Okay? Now x square. From these two terms, we can take x common. So if we take x common, then it will be a plus b plus ab. So this is the formula actually. Even if you forget the formula also, no worry. You just multiply and get the result. Okay, but try to remember this formula. x into x, that is x square plus, in bracket you will have to write a plus b. Then into this x plus a into b. That is the technique. How can you remember the formula? Now let's go to the next identity. Identity number 5. a plus b whole cube. Whenever I ask the students in the class what is a plus b whole cube? How they will start? Some students how they start? Man a square plus b square. So there is a confusion. So how to remember? You just see. Cube means power is 3. So it will be a power 3. Don't get confused. a power 3 plus b cube plus thrice a into b. This is 3. So this 3 has come from this 3. You remember like that. This is the technique. Okay. You can remember easily. Then after that in bracket a plus b. Now this also can be written in expanded form. Now if you remember this formula. I have already taught you how to remember the technique. Now, if you know this formula, easily you can write in expanded form. Or, another formula is what? A cube plus B cube plus multiply these two. So, it will be 3A square B plus thrice AB into B. So, it will be AB square. So this is the expanded form. Very simple. If you know this formula, don't take any tension. Easily you can find out the expanded form formula. Okay? But try to remember this formula. How? A power 3 means A cube plus B cube plus this power is 3. So this 3 has come from there. 3 AB in bracket A plus B. Very simple. Next identity number 6 that is again important a minus b whole cube. It has similarity with the last identity. Now again you just see a power 3 means a cube then sign is minus so give minus sign so it will be b cube. Okay then minus again minus because this sign is minus you remember this 3 will become coefficient 3 a b. In bracket a minus b. There should not be any confusion. All minus minus minus. Now if you want to write this formula in expanded form. How will you write? a cube minus b cube minus. Multiply these two. So thrice a square b minus minus. This time will be what? Plus. So it is thrice a b into b a b square. Isn't it very simple? Once again I am repeating. A cube power is 3 minus b cube 
minus this sign is minus so power is 3 so thrice a b in bracket after that a minus b so this way you can remember the identities very easily so identity number seven generally students they like this identity they can remember this very easily they don't find any difficulty then also i'm writing just the identity a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 into in bracket you can write a b plus b c plus c a very simple how to remember a square plus b square plus c square plus this power is 2 so 2 then first a b then b c then a c or c a like this very easy to remember. If you want to write it in expanded form, you can write like this. A square plus B square plus C square plus just you multiply twice AB plus twice BC plus twice CA. So simple. So before we go to the last identity, uh, let me do some corollaries. Corollary corollary l l a r y so corollary means what uh, which is derived from something which is already proved okay suppose if i already have come to know the identity that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus twice a b now in some questions you will see that you are asked to find out the value of a square plus b square. Now this is an equation now. From here only we can find the value of a square plus b square. So what we get? a square plus b square equal to a plus b whole square minus twice a b. So this is a corollary. Yes, so even if you do not know you can find from this main identity. Very simple. Next. Also, we know that a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus twice a b. Right? Now, from here, a square plus b square will be equal to a minus b whole square plus twice a b this is also one corollary so whenever let me tell you a plus b and a b values are given to us if you are asked to find value of a square plus b square you can use this corollary and suppose you are given a minus b value and a b value in that case you can use this formula i think all of you have understood so simple Next, this is the main identity a plus b whole cube already you have come to know a cube plus b cube plus twice a b into a plus b. Now in some questions you will find that you are asked to find the value of a cube plus b cube. So we can derive from this formula a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b whole cube minus twice a b into a plus b so simple from if you know this identity already i have taught you the technique how to remember the identity so if you know this identity from here easily you can find out the corollary so even when you are asked to find out a cube plus b cube so it is which is equal to a plus b whole cube this one this one if we transfer to left hand side minus trice a b into a plus b and also one technique how to remember this sign is plus minus then again plus this way also you can remember the next identity we got a minus b whole cube so identity is a cube minus b cube minus twice a b into a minus b very simple right now in some questions, you will see that you are asked to find a cube minus b cube. So, from this main identity, we can find out a minus b whole cube 
plus tricep. If we transfer to left hand side, tricep B into A minus B. Here, here you can check. This sign is minus, then plus, then minus. So easy to remember. So if this sign is minus, first minus, then plus, then minus. Now here in this corollary, if this sign is plus, first plus, then minus, then plus. So these are the techniques, very easy techniques. You can remember very easily. Coming to the last identity, very, very important. A cube plus B cube plus C cube minus thrice A, B, C. So this one is equal to all of you know A plus B plus C into A square plus B square plus C square minus A, B minus B, C minus C. A. Now how to remember? First this part you try to remember A plus B plus C, right? Then after that, as you have to get a cube here, then after that in bracket, it will be a square because a square into a is equal to a cube. Then if this is a square, the next term will be plus b square plus c square. Then as this sign is minus, so this is also minus. Then ab, multiply this to a into b, ab. Then bc, then ca. Very simple. Right now, also one thing if sometimes you'll get a plus b plus c is equal to zero in that case, this is the main identity. Replace this by zero. What we get a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus thrice a b c is equal to. If we put 0 here, 0 into any number, any expression always equal to what? 0. So, we are getting a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to thrice a b c. I think all of you have understood very nicely. So, whenever a plus b plus c is equal to 0, then a cube plus b cube plus c cube reduces to thrice a b c. So these are the main identities. I think all of you have enjoyed. Yes, definitely. If you learn these techniques, these techniques will help you to remember the identities very easily. Okay. And you can score good marks in exam. Okay. Now you will not say that I do not like algebra. So if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest CBSC updates and many other educational interesting videos. Till then, bye-bye, take care and keep smiling.